Hey guys, this is Kachwomt and welcome back to your brand new video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make this neon outline effect in DaVinci Resolve. If you guys want to see more videos like this, please tell me down in the comments. And with that being said, vamonos! Alright guys, so real quick, I got this video idea from Nomad R Productions. He made this exact video 5 months ago. But the difference is that he was using the Venture Resolve version 16 while I'm using the latest version. And there's some things that have changed between those versions. And I just want to make like an updated version from how he did it. So if you guys want to check out the original video, I'm going to be leaving it down in the description. So with that being said, let's go ahead. Now we are going to start off by placing your clip. Of course, we are going to be having different clips, different uses and everything like that. The first thing that you guys want to do is remove the background. The way I'm going to be removing the background is by using the new tool in the Visual Resolve 18, which is called uh, Object Mask or Person Mask. Whatever you guys want to use is really up to you. We have on Object Mask, we have Toggle Mask Overlay, and we have the pen. We, got, we want to make it better so we get the best quality. And boop, right here. And boop, right here. So this is what we have right now arms are good head is good body is good legs are good and the other arm is good if anything we could go ahead and do this shoe all right nice now what we want to do is go ahead and just track it that's that's basically all we want to do of course we have to add the alpha output but i forgot to do it but i will just do it right now so now once we are done right removing the background whatever you guys want to do it whatever you guys found it convenient we want to export it so it should be looking something like this now the reason why i need to export it is because for some reason for some odd reason if i add any effects to this it doesn't want to work for example if i add this edge effect look it doesn't want to work for some reason it just starts like the first one second and rest is just gone so in order for me to add effects and add everything that i want to add i need to go ahead and export it i already have a template for this so you, you guys could literally just copy what i have file name whatever you, you guys want to call it location wherever you guys have your videos uh the format oh uh, make sure to put individual clips the format you want to go to quicktime right uh codec gopro cineform right here type rgb 16 bit and then this is just like all random so basically this is going to allow you just to have a video with a transparent background if that makes sense so now that we have exported let me go ahead and find the clip and it's right here we could delete this and look is the same thing now this time if i want to add something it actually goes through the whole video so this is where i was having problems i did like everything in the venture resolve and it didn't want to go through for some reason it just didn't want to go through so now this is what we have and this is what you guys should have right a transparent clip that you guys could add anything and it is not going to bug like i said i don't know if it's from my part or it's just the venture resolve or i have no idea if you guys know why this is happening please tell me down in the comments now we want to go into fusion fusion for me i don't really like it but if someone knows how to explain it clearly and tells me what to do i don't mind using it but it's just so confusing so this is why i would take my time try to explain to you guys how this works and hopefully i don't forget anything if you guys get confused if you guys have a question please tell me down in the comments because i don't mind responding to you guys right i don't mind if you guys have just the even like the smallest question right or even like a question that i think is pretty clear i will still try to clear up for you guys so what we want to go we want to go to templates and we want to find edge control it's right here we are going to place it right here this basically adds the outline that we need, right? Instead of us tracing it, there's actually something built in in Fusion where we could go ahead and just have this uh, uh this outline. Now, of course, it's kind of skinny, so we are gonna go ahead and just bump it up a bit. This is your personal preference, right? You could even have it 
as zero you could have it as five but i feel like three is not that bad now we want to add the glow the glow that basically is gonna add the color the neon part if that makes sense you want to go to tools you want to go to soft glow and you just want to place it in between the alpha edge and media out one right now you see this glow you want to go to color scale and just to make sure make sure this is in frame because if it's not it's not going to go frame by frame man it's just not going to look nice alpha edge i'm actually going to decrease this a bit because i don't need three but three works right it, it just depends if you're tracing like a bigger object like a car or like a person from close up three should work out but because my person was like kind of far uh i changed the alpha or the the blur size to 1.6 so now we are in the soft glow go to color scale and just mess around what color you want uh in this case i want to add just like a bluish color so let's go try to find this bluish color or even this pink if that makes sense right so this is what we have our neon outline now this is something that years could add but that's really up to you it's called color corrector and this is basically going to allow you right if you want to add it you are going to add it in between soft glow and midi out if you guys want to add this it's basically just going to let you like choose like a color like right away instead of going to the color scan trying to find your color uh for example if i want to change this to like pinkish to purplish and add like a saturation it's way easier than that and then this hue right if you guys want to go ahead and like change color and in, in between but that's really up to you so this is basically all you need for neon or how to add the neon outline effect in davinci resolve right we have the median which comes with fusion then we got the alpha edge which is for the outline soft glow just to get that glow in between right and then color correct it to choose your color if you want to this is optional right because you could do this without getting color correct and you could just go ahead and mess around right here and then like i said you guys could add so many things right here right gamma brightness and everything just this is basically allows you to do more stuff with the color uh of the outline so now if we go right here we are gonna put our clip it's gonna look something like this it might be a little bit laggy right just because we went to fusion and we have a video exported as well but you guys get the gist of it right it's gonna look something like this of course i think if i go to playback it shouldn't it shouldn't be that bad but look tell me this doesn't look clean now of course i did this with the person if you guys are doing this like for a ad or for like a car or for something it's gonna look better i know that you guys are way better than me but this is like just like the basic of the neon outline and then you would just get used to it right you could always just save this as a template and whenever you need something you guys could just go ahead and just copy the nodes and just paste them right so you could you just could honestly do this as a template and it's very easy as you can see hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and if you guys did don't forget to please subscribe and hit the like button and see you guys later take it easy